Go. Hello, I am Jasper, and today I built the prototype of the terror shop. Hey, it's Kingsley again, and this is my second prototype. As you see, it's just literally the same thing, really, except I added some extra reinforcement. Okay, tell me about the code, Muhammad. Uh, so this code, well, the code on the left shows um, how the robot will be able to move forward, and then once it detects a wall uh, over 50 centimeters away, then it will stop, it will reverse, and then it will turn a different direction and carry on until it's got a straight path in front of it. I'm Jasper, and this is our vehicle, the Highlander. The Highlander is inspired by the, the vehicles, the terror bus and the shop. I built the first skeleton and also helped do the decorations. Hi, I'm Kingston, and I worked mainly on typing out the team document. I'm responsible for the back wheels, the roof, some decorations, and the touch sensor. I'm also the editor for this team. Scheduling so that we could complete this project on time was a very big focus of our challenge. We split our timeline into six weeks. Hi, I'm Kingsley. I did the design for the rack and pinion steering as well as the driving functionality. I also did some of the programming. I helped arrive at the Highlander idea and I also helped to build and code the robot. The Highlander is a bus sized all terrain vehicle designed to take people on journeys through harsh off road environments whether they be tundra, desert, rocks or rivers. The Highlander is built to overcome obstacles with giant sized wheels and a safe cabin. For this robot, we wanted to achieve a few things. Move and steer like a real world vehicle using rack and pinion steering, using a distance sen sen sensor to, to detect incoming obstacles, use a force sensor to simulate a reversing sensor, and show off a cool realistic driving action. Our final feature is this reversing sensor that can detect if an object is in the way. For a vehicle of this size, it's important to give the driver a high degree of awareness. We represent the reversing sensor using a force sensor. When the robot is moving backwards, it will stop if anything bumps into the sensor. We hope you enjoyed our Robocop Spike Challenge robot. Thanks for listening. Bye.